The biggest takeaway that sale, that transaction, is not legitimate, but unraveling it can still be complicated and costly to parties involved. From buyers to lenders. More all of us could do. As chair of the Texas Land Title Association Seller Impersonation Fraud Task Force and CEO of a title insurance company, David Tandy has a front row seat to deed fraud. Just last week I had 10 notices from title insurance underwriters alerting me that they have been told about or seen or involved in a seller impersonation fraud. That's a little more than normal, but I'm getting for the last two years, two and a half years, I'm getting two to three uh, a week. Fraudsters moving from forging the actual documents to something that may take a little less legwork. Now it's more of a uh, identity theft crime. If you impersonate the seller and list the property and you're able to get through the closing process, you walk away with the sales proceeds. And I was like, hey, I'm looking for Joe Grasso. And she's like, that's my husband, and who are you? I was shocked. Recently, we met Joe Grasso and Manny R.C., an Austin realtor who was able to flag a fraudulent seller of Grasso's Hill Country property before it was too late. All realtors need to take lessons from that and say, I need to do more. Like making sure they meet them in person and looking them up on social media. For buyers, the most important measure they can take, obtaining title insurance. And that title insurance policy is, is made at to them and protects them from all kinds of ownership issues. So that's number one. And it actually winds up protecting the seller in an indirect way. Otherwise, the buyer's money could be gone. So now you go before a judge and you prove, an attorney would prove that it was a fraudulent forged deed and the court would issue an, an, some kind of court order that would clean up the record and now the, the property owner is now restored back to owning that property. Okay. So a court can take care of it, title company can take care of it, there's a solution there. Okay. That transaction was void. No one stole the, pr the property owner's property. That was a void transaction. For property owners, here are some important steps. Set up a listing alert on Zillow, Realtor.com, and other sites for your own address. You can also set up an alert with the county to be notified if any document is filed under your address. Conduct drive-bys of your property and ask neighbors to let you know if a for sale sign goes up. I've seen people put a sign on their vacant property saying this property is not for sale. Other possible red flags, wanting to list a property for less than market value or the seller being located out of state, perhaps at the last minute. Whether you are a property owner, a title company, a lender or a realtor, we all have responsibilities to be watching for are there red flags and how can we find ways to stop that? How can we find ways to uh, validate the identity of the people that we're working with? And there's m new ways coming out now all the time because of all this. And we'll put links to more resources in our online article for this story.